After thriving as a solo on Wipe Day, I had drawn the attention of some nearby groups, and I knew that eventually they'd come for my berry farm. The moment Fresh Wipe happened, I'd made my way across the map and established one of the greatest solo farm bases you ever see. And after overcoming an early setback, I'd progressed to the point where I now had a booming farm with nearly every god clone and also the foundations for a strong solo fortress. The question was, how long could I prosper as a solo, or would I be swarmed by the nearby zergs and bullied off the server? This is definitely our farming kit. <laughs> I'm old. They call me Parbold. Hey, finally got some some white berries. We were up up here. Yes, we are. Woo! Yeah, there's a wrap too. Holy berries! Feels good getting all the loot out of this base though. I was stressing for a bit there. Man, how good is this little farm? <laughs> it's actually so good. We got some berries to pick. Oh, it's like Christmas. Yeah, the potatoes are right. So many white berries, man. Should I flame raid that? Should probably deep, I'm pretty loaded. Oh yeah. Alright, we got the god clones going. Now we just need uh, blue. That's like the last one. Not long after that, I noticed a player farming near my base. So I went to check it out. Not knowing that this would be the start of a rough afternoon of PvP for me. destroyed tonight <laughs> absolutely destroyed Ugh. not my best compound that is like <laughs> it actually works exactly how I need it to cool all right you savaged it man it's been a long day I need to go to bed Some upkeep in here.
<laughs> Shit, metal honeycomb all the way around. Well, let's go. Overall, it had been a successful day one of this fresh wire. I'd found my feet, and although I'd lost some fights, I had progressed to getting down a compound and had an insane amount of berries that I'd be able to craft into teas the following day. The plan was to use the teas myself, but also set up a few tea shops, something that you don't see overly often on a weekly server. But for all of this to play out how I'd imagined it, I'd have to first survive the night offline. So I upgraded the most crucial parts of my base to high quality metal, sealed up the god bunker, and logged off for the night. That's the beginning of day two. I'm not sure, man. I think maybe my main base will be safe. I think my farm base will be raided. Yes. Oh, we still got a bag. We still got a bag and farm. No way. Let's go have a look. You're kidding me, man. <laughs> yes. Yes, dude. Ah, oh, it's gonna be such a good day. I was like, all right. I think my main base is safe enough, like secure enough to survive the night. But surely someone's gonna raid and grief my farm but we are sweet. To my surprise, both of my bases survived the night. With the entire day ahead of me, I was spoiled for options of how to spend it, but I wanted to automate the water system in my farm and get a few shops down selling teas for high tier loot. So that's what I set out to do. That is not a good start, man. That's bullshit, dude. Pretty sure he's sitting outside my gate still. We'll be keeping an eye out for that name, that's for sure. Ugh. Another wood farm, I guess. That guy definitely lives close by, maybe other side of sewer. So alright, so the plan for this morning is I'm going to automate the sprinkler system. We do need to get the blue like god clone, but I want to I want to start doing like doing rig, getting some some guns behind me. So I can get some kits for raid defense and whatnot, which I currently do not have. <laughs> I need to get some turrets down to even just two turrets to protect the compound. Yeah, we're gonna set up this sprinkler system. So this will be a little electricity wall. This is for the sprinkler system. It's kind of like a complicated setup, but once you learn how to do it, it's not too bad. So you put a splitter, two timers next to each other, there, and then we put the blocker. I love how this whole system can be powered off of just like two solar panels. So people don't, people don't expect that there's an epic farm in here. That's the best part. <laughs> it should click the left timer on when that timer runs out. So we've got like five minute intervals, five minutes on, five minutes off. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yes, it works. I need to start building up some comps. I'm gonna run, gonna run sewer or something. Cause I really need like some guns, some kits. All right, this is the start of my snowball today. So we could try and get a red card from Train Yard. Oh, hello. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Going the long way. Please let me get this home, man. All right. Let's get ready to do Rick, because I should be up soon. I'm just going to make... I think we got three SMG bodies from that. That's huge. And enough for a turret, too. Start looking for a boat now because I feel like it's going to be up very soon. Ah, the first rig attempt of wipe, and it's just gone up to perfect timing. This boat is literally about to die, but that's fine. Oh my god, we got wet again. Yeah, this rig is kind of far away. Hopefully I'm the first one here. I left pretty quickly. Like I was already on my way before it came up. So I think we're gonna be good. And there is a scientist there. Yeah, I think we're sweet. So annoying. Just didn't want to get caught up on the fucking crane. I don't have any ammo, dude. Literally going back with fucking pump. Are you kidding me? How come the scientists are like potatoes until you freaking need them not to be and then they laser beam you? It's fine. We can get it back. We can get it back. I should really be going back here with a Tommy, but I got no, <laughs> got no ammo. It's always a tough pill to swallow, doing the groundwork on rig, and then losing it. I didn't have any sulfur cooked either, so I was stuck going back with a pump shotgun and grub armor. So I really needed a stroke of luck to pull this off. I 
hate this game, man. Let's go after a farm or something. Just can't cop consecutive L's. It's not my specialty. Uh, it's times like this that make it so difficult to continue as a solo, but I knew that if I persisted, things would eventually turn around for me. Okay, buddy, keep me safe. deeper that I need every kit that I can get right now. So we're going to go to blue, yeah, or yellow, blue. Uh, the first tease of the white. Took a bit longer, like, I've got so many berries, but... After that, I saw that someone had called in the heavies a rig, so I took a DB and went to see if I could make a play. Sources for meds. Man, that was the perfect timing for me. That bumpy kid. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Solid, solid. I'm just gonna try and get out of here alive. Oh, I saw a pumpy. Get the fuck out of here. Oh man, I got the four times two.
<laughs> See ya. No one doing rig here. Oh, uh, we got a little win. Let's go. C4. And two armored doors. I don't even have armored door beep. <laughs> yes. It's huge. After a few wins around my area, things really started to heat up, so I thought it'd be smart to set up electricity at my main base, and with the laptops and cameras that I'd found, I was able to put down some auto turrets. Feeling a bit more secure leaving my compound now, it was time to set up my first shop, and see if I could sell my teas for super inflated prices, since it was a weekly server. see if we can get this shop down. I didn't want it to be too obvious that it was my shop, so I headed closer to a fresh spawn, which was a close boat ride from base, and put down a pretty sweet shop module with an offset bunker. Alright, we got a shop, let's go. And we're just gonna transport some loot. Perfect location too. It's gonna get so much traffic. What are we gonna call it though? That's the question. Such a good shop design. It's just like getting it down is a bit, <laughs> a bit hectic. So we're taking 10 of each, basic, max health, ore and wood. Six each of advanced and just one each of the pure because they're freaking really expensive <laughs> so expensive <laughs> oh my god go 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 <laughs> ah. what do i need do you need high qual how many high qual are you like 50 it's just like, let's see if it sells for 50. There's a wood, basic wood tea. Three gears. Very, very boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's have a look. And such a good shop design. With the amount of berries I've been growing, I could immediately sell the highest tier teas. Now it was just a matter of time before I'd hopefully make my first sale. And then on my way back to base, I came across something interesting. Crafting exploit. <laughs> oh man, he had like a stack of GP on him. It's 
crazy. Oh, I need high core bad. Oh shit. Wait, what's sold? Basic or advanced or sold? Pure wood? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's so silly. Oh man, let's get back in the shop. I'm gonna go spawn over, have a look, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got the 50 high quote that sold so fast holy shit <laughs> anyway after seeing how quickly my teas were selling I decided to put down another shop and this time, I put it right at my doorstep, which I knew would draw some attention, and I just hoped that I was ready for it. <laughs> Such a good little shop module. And just as I returned to base, I heard a rocket off in the distance. Let's have a look. If I get to the forex. Oh god. What the fuck just happened? That's where it AK, man. Oh my god. No fucking way. <laughs> man, the saw four times collapse. Oh my god, man, I have to get rid of this evidence so fast. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean? Get rid of the evidence. Man, this guy's got a roll. Those walls work so perfectly for me. Like, if I didn't have walls then, I was toast. That was the end. I want to check this recording real quick. After checking the recording, it became clear that one of the guys from this team had bailed. So he must have been loaded. But I got out with a full invent of cargo loot, including another turret and C4. I haven't seen this skin before. 
It's <laughs> not bad. All right, I got 20 minutes on this 40. Man, 450 sulfur per node. 900. <laughs> what? And stone. Yeah, 1500. Holy. Making a berry farm is so time consuming. It's like a it's like a full-time job. I was kind of hoping that having a little like hobby farm and uh, just playing at the same time would be time efficient, but I feel like I've just spent the whole whole wipe farming again, making teas. <laughs> After that, I went out for a farm run and got to see the true potential of using a pure ore tea when I was able to farm this much in six minutes. Wow. That is so fast. It was getting late for me, but I wanted to make the most of the tea, so I went out for another farm run. Being so painful. Quick depot. Let's go whack a C4 on that base. Hey, not bad. 326. Oh man, 70 high quo. 1000. Oh dude. Actually worth. Jackie? Yeah, this was definitely worth it. The raid was definitely worth, but it was time for me to call it. So I ran the loot back to base, sealed up the bunker, and logged off for the night. Alright, let's check the damage. It's the morning of day three. It's over, I can, I already know. What? No way. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> How? How have we survived? Nah, that's crazy. I'd ridden this off. Check out these shops though. Okay, we sold a little bit. <laughs> I knew that would get him. No one expects the offset bunker there. Good day, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so we sold one of the pure Ortiz, 50 high quo. It's the only thing that's sold. 50 high quo solid there. I wasn't able to play a whole lot on day 3, and to be honest, I thought I would have been raided anyway, after setting up a tea shop right next to my main base.
Soon after, I was doing some base organization when I heard a rocket off in the distance again, so I went to see what was going on. But after failing to find anything, I headed back to base. And that's when I heard a pretty daunting sound. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my god, no fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way, man. What just happened? How's the timing? They're coming back, right? I was just looking on to like round out the wipe. That shoddy trap came in so clutch.
I can't believe that he tried to loot me. Like, he's getting in trouble from the boys, that's for sure. That was a bag fumble and a half trying to loot me there. There was like no need to do that. <laughs> uh, so good, man. Uh, if this, you know, if this is the end for me, what a good way to end. Is I, I can't play like pretty much all today. So not a bad, not a bad way to go out, to be honest. Suffering's a way to earn your keep. I better start putting miles on my feet. But I'm so tired of wandering.